This is Mrs. O'Neill for the Summer Packet Part 1 Elements. So first things first, you're going to make flashcards of the following elements and their group name. So let me kind of go through what you're going to be doing and, and saying the words and saying the element names and symbols, um, kind of telling you how you're going to do things on the periodic table. Uh, then you can always go back and rewind if you need a refresher or understanding of them. So on the following page of your packet, you're going to find a list of elements and their symbols, and these are the ones that you must know. And they're also grouped together in a specific way because that's how they're found on the periodic table, their location. So I'm going to suggest that you're going to use different colored pens or index cards when making your flash cards according to their group uh, that that element belongs to. Uh, it's just going to be easier later on when we, when we use these elements throughout the course. So each flash card should include the name on one side and the symbol with the group name on the other and I just want to remind you that yes hydrogen is its own group it's the only one that it's 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 solo so your flashcards then will be collected on the first day of school they'll be worth 10 points they'll be returned back to you right away however because you will be given a quiz within the first few weeks of school on all 40 of these elements so that quiz uh, will be worth 40 points I believe it's two two quizzes. Uh, one quiz where I give you the element and you have to give me the symbol, and then the other quiz is the other 20 elements, uh, vice versa. So, and again, I'll talk to you about this uh, during class as well. So, it is beneficial if you know the location of these 40 elements only, and at this point, only those 40 elements do you, uh, should you kind of know where they are located on the periodic table. So, you will not have to know them for the quiz, you will not have to know the location for the quiz, uh, but again, it's just beneficial for you uh, since we'll be doing things throughout the year, and, and these 40 elements are the most uh, that you'll be using. Um, so you're going to use that blank periodic table that's found on your page four of this packet. You're going to find a periodic table online, and I also show you on the um, on, on, on this video as well, so you could use either one. You're going to put the symbol, and again, only the symbol and only the 40 elements in its proper location on this blank periodic table. And again, you might want to use different colored pens according to the group. So you can either write the symbols in those colors, or you can maybe shade that area of that color and then the actual symbols like in black or something so it's up to you how you want to do that so first though I want you to be able to say the elements out loud yes I want you to repeat after me yes why do I want you to do this? Uh, because chemistry is going to be like a foreign language, and some of these element names are very difficult to say if you've never heard of them in your in your brain. So yes, I do want you to repeat after me, and I want you to say them out loud. Um, so I'm going to kind of say the symbol and the name and pause. So for instance, uh, and again, I'm doing them by groups, uh, just so you can kind of be aware uh, of that the group location as well. So again, hydrogen is its own group. So H, hydrogen. Alkali metals, Li, lithium. Na, sodium. K, potassium. The alkaline earth metals, Be, beryllium. Mg, magnesium. Ca, calcium. Sr, strontium. BA barium, RA radium, the transition metals CR chromium, MN manganese, FE iron, CO cobalt, NI nickel, CU copper, ZN zinc. AG silver, AU gold, HG mercury. And I also want you to take note that the symbols, if you haven't noticed, all of them start with one capital letter. If there is a second letter, then that is lowercase. So please be careful with cobalt. That's one that gets a little tricky. It's a capital C and a little O. And if you don't make that O small enough, it looks like a capital O, and that could possibly be a polyatomic ion, something, again, we'll, we'll talk about later in the course. 
The inner transition metal or the actinine series is U uranium. The halogens, F and only F, not FL, F and only F for fluorine. Cl chlorine, Br bromine, I iodine. The noble gases, He helium, Ne neon, Ar argon, argon, Rn radon. And I also want you to take note that I, even though I've capitalized all the names, um, you do often see the names not capitalized. So that I'm not going to be worried about. It is the symbols, though. Symbols are really, really important. First uh, letter needs to be capitalized, and second one, if there is one, um, is lowercase. Other metals, AL, aluminum, SN, tin, PB, lead. PB is like peanut butter, and I always think when I eat peanut butter, it kind of feels like lead in my stomach because it's real heavy. Other non-metals, C, carbon, N, nitrogen, O, oxygen, P, phosphorus, S, sulfur. And sulfur can be spelled U-R or E-R at the end. I've seen it spelled both ways. Metalloids, B, boron, SI, silicon, AS, arsenic. So again, putting them on the periodic table to show you what, what I mean by that. So this is my version. It is up to you if you want to find your own periodic table, um, or you can freeze this, or you can screenshot it, whatever you need to do. And I've tried to, again, color coordinate according to the group names, uh, but you can also shade it in. Like maybe if you want to just shade in this lightly blue area instead of blue lettering, and then just make the lettering black, whatever you want to do to make sure that you're understanding. And I do want to repeat, you will not need to know the location of these elements for those quizzes. You just need to know element symbols and element names and how they match up with each other. Um, and it will not be matching, by the way. I didn't mean to confuse you. It will not be matching. It will be, I give you a symbol, you have to give me the name, or I give you the name, and you have to give me the symbol. And again, that symbol has to be correct. Notice all of these have one capital letter, uh, starts with a capital letter, and the second one is lowercase if there is one. So make sure that you have that done in your summer packet. So um, you will not, again, just uh, if you want to pause and reread this, it's stuff that I've already said. So remember to make those flashcards, and they can be as big or as small as you want. Uh, they could be actual index cards. They could be just pieces of paper. Uh, it is up to you how you want to do it, because again, if you want to use different colored paper uh, for the different groups, um, you know, then you might want to just use regular like construction paper or regular print paper, whatever your heart desires. Uh, but you do need to have these because they are they will be collected on day one as well as this packet. All right, I will see you whether it might be me or another teacher, uh, but they will be collected on the first day of class as well as your packet. So now you can go on to, after you make your flashcards, you can go on to um, part two of this packet.